Thank you for being in the front row now. Awesome. Now I can, yes, give it up for our front row. And everyone else too. Thank you for coming out to the Red Raven and supporting local comedy. It is by far the best entertainment value in Fargo-Moorhead, not just on a Tuesday night, but any night of the week. So, good work coming out for that. Our first performer of the evening has a YouTube channel, and his videos get fewer views than anybody else he posts on his channel. <laughs> He admits it freely, so do watch his videos in addition to my own and Josh's and everybody else that's on there. So please welcome everybody's best friend, Mr. David Gooch. <laughs> You know, open mics are kind of interesting. It gives us a chance to uh, work up stuff in front of an audience, and, and that's kind of fun. Uh, we're all aiming for about three minutes of solid stuff, and uh, that's why it takes, like, Josh six minutes. And uh, But uh, hopefully we end up with that three minutes, and we keep trying to, to work on it and get it as solid as ever. Now... Uh, because if we don't end up with a solid set, we're going to end up giving up on comedy and then our only funny skill will be being able to fart when someone pulls our finger. And uh, true, that is very funny, but it uh, doesn't really go with every situation. So uh, in this, as people do comedy, you'll, you'll see some different little levels of comedy. And the first set that people usually do is, hi, my name is, and then they tell you about their brother or sister or something wrong with their mom or something like that. Then the next group of uh, comics uh, get into the, uh, oh, I just broke up with my girlfriend, and then they'll have some anti-girlfriend jokes or anti-boyfriend jokes or whatever like that. And then, uh, and then there's that third group that we cherish here at the Red Raven that kind of starts off something like this, uh, you know, the funny thing about rape is... Uh, <laughs> And we just love that. Uh, that. That's really our style. When, it, when the book gets written on comedy, it's going to be called the Fargo style. And uh, some record their stuff, uh, either audio or video. And like Paloma mentioned, I uh, put some of my stuff up on YouTube. And to try to get more people to look at my channel, I decided to throw up some of like Josh Wallace and, and uh, Paloma. Well, I've got three or four comedians on there. Like Josh Wallace has like 133 views. Now, I admit, some of those are the investigating officer talking to the witness saying, look closely at this video, tell me if you recognize this guy. Uh, but that's still a lot of views. Now, Paloma, on my channel, she's got like 38 views or something like that. And I'm thinking, well, maybe that's her husband's buddies, her ex-husband's buddies, saying, hey, hey, you should see what your wife said about you the other night uh, there at the Short Dick Club in Fargo. Uh, and then, you know, and then there's these things I just cannot understand. Craig Larson has like 11 views, and all he's doing is wearing a vest. <laughs> or maybe scratching his haircut. Uh, and then uh, Simon, he's got like four views of, of him wiping his palm on his coat. You know, and, that, and I, I don't know. And here every night, I'm turning lead into gold. <laughs> and I get like two views a week. So if you're on YouTube, uh, Google Fargo Gooch. Hey, glad you're back. Uh, and, and see what that is. Uh, now, as I said, everyone likes to have a solid opening. Hopefully the middle section of their comedy bit is some kind of ethereal uh, thing where you have to do a little thinking to get the joke or follow the story. And, uh, and then there's the closing. And most of us never get to our closing. So what I'm going to do is, is try to work on my closing now. So uh, here we go. Wow, well, give yourself a hand. This has been a great night. Give yourselves a hand here. Ah. And how about all those comics? Keep it going for all the other comics, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And our MC tonight, Paloma, she's done a great job. Yeah, yeah. Okay, while you're at it, give a hand to our servers. They have been working their butts off all night. And you know that dollar in your pocket may not mean much to you, but at the end of the night, if you leave it with your tip, It'll mean a lot to these babes that have been wait, waiting on us, hand and foot, all night long. And I happen to know that one of these uh, young ladies is going to give birth in about nine months. Uh, 
I haven't figured out who yet. <laughs> but uh, I want you to go ahead and tip that. Now, if tonight has been a very special night that has changed your life and you want to remember it in some way, I happen to have something for you. I got on the internet and I uh, had these posters made. And uh, I'm going to be selling them out there in the hall and I'll sign them for you and your loved one. I get confused on the hash marks if it's a... Uh, uh, one hash mark is a foot, or if is it an inch, kind of like in Spinal Tap. But anyway, I've got these posters that I've got for sale. They say, Comedy Tuesday Night Red Raven. They are five cents a piece, or four for a quarter. So, and I will, uh, I've got them in the manly, big black stripe. You know what that means, guys. Big black stripe version, or the more sophisticated uh, font of just the simple... Times New Roman uh, font. Uh, and then, uh, if this is, and I'm selling these and signing them out in the hall. Now, I want to leave you with something because this has been special, and I hope you can't, got what you came for here. I'm going to leave you with the story of the hunter that went up north, and uh, he wanted to kill a bear, and so he goes way up north Canada. He sights in on this uh, little brown bear, pulls the trigger, nicks the brown bear, the bear scurries off. Before he can reload, a tap on his shoulder, and there's a polar bear. And the polar bear says, hey, that's the, my second cousin on my dad's side. We have a code up here in the north. If you shoot one of my kin, I get to have my way with you. Or I'll kill you and then have my way with you. <sighs> he gets out of the hospital 11 months later, and he decides to go back up to Alaska, up to Canada, and get his revenge. He's up in kind of in the same area and then after a couple of days he spots an eight foot tall grizzly. He takes aim, shoots, the bullet goes way off to the left. Before he can reload, tap on the other shoulder, the polar bear says, that's my cousin on my mom's side. Well, 11 months later he gets out of the hospital again and he is mad. He goes way up north Canada, makes camp, waits for about a week. Finally, he sees his intimate arch rival, <laughs> loads the gun, shoots, misses. Before he can reload, tap on the shoulder. The polar bear says, you don't really come here for the hunting, do you? <laughs> Let's hear it for David Gooch one more time. Woo!